Hey everyone, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, and today I'm going to be unboxing and giving my initial reaction to the On 7-inch tablet. This is the third generation tablet. It's a competitor to the Amazon Fire tablets, but the thing about it is there's just kind of plain Jane Android OS on it, and the benefit of that is that you're not locked into the Amazon App Store. You get the entire Google Play App Store. This comes in an 8-inch version, a 10.1-inch uh, version, and a 11.1-inch version. It could be 10.1 and 11.4. I'm not 100% sure. The largest one comes with a keyboard. It's kind of a pro version of the laptop. But we just got this inexpensive one because we wanted to see what the experience was going to be like. And maybe in the future, we could take a look at some of the other ones. So let's open this up. Actually, let's go through some of the specifications first on this. I'll pop them up over here on the side so that you can see them while I'm reading about it. So it comes with Android 11 Go Edition. It's got a 1024 by 600 LCD, so not a very high resolution, a 2 gigahertz quad-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage. It says it can run for up to 10 hours of battery life. You know, it's got two, two, two megapixel cameras, a front and rear facing one, and then it says it comes with Google Kids Space, Entertainment Space, and Google Camera Go apps. You get an AC adapter along with a charging cable and a quick start guide in the box. So let's dig in here. I think maybe we can just peel this tape off here. Should come off pretty easily. There we go. And we'll pull this open. And that just slides out like that. Okay. Okay, so far the packaging actually, I think, is... Even though it looks cheaper, I think it's better than the Fire Tablet. That opens up there. That opens up there. And you have your tablet in the plastic protective sleeve. The quick start guide, what they're calling a product guide. Coupon for shopping at Walmart online. Your AC adapter, which appears to be, if I can find it, Looks like it's just a one amp adapter, so it's a pretty slow adapter. And then your USB A to USB C cable. Okay, so <laughs> it's funny, it's got this peel off here, but you can actually slide it right out. Um, what I do like about this, and I will attempt to zoom in on it, is if you look here on the plastic covering, it's got a guide for the buttons and what everything does here. So I think that's really neat that it tells you where the headphone jack is, the micro SD card slot, which, oh, I didn't know it had a micro SD card slot. So it's expandable. Even better. Microphone, front camera, volume up and down, power. Got your rear camera here. And then it even tells you where the speaker is. So no, it, there's only one speaker, so no stereo speakers. And it tells you what the little buttons do. So let's just pop that open like that. I just got the black one. Or gray or whatever color they're calling this. And let's fire it up.
So this is just the initial startup. It's probably going to want to go through a setup process. I think what I will do is create a separate video for that. I do like that right off the bat. This is very impressive, actually, because I don't recall seeing this on the latest Fire tablets, but right here on the bottom, it has an option for vision settings. So if you have vision problems, you can immediately, before you even start going through the setup process and start using it, you can set up magnification, font size, get the screen to talk, select to speak. I don't see a high contrast mode, but I think this is great to begin with because there are a lot of people who buy these things and they have to have someone else set them up for them because they have vision problems. So this is a good, I'm pretty impressed with that. So, I mean, it's plastic, right? So nothing, nothing to write home about there. It looks like there might be a reset button over here. The, the, the packaging here doesn't say anything about it, but I'm willing to bet that this little hole right here is probably a reset button if things get really hosed on this. The cover for the SD card is pretty easy to open up. And I mean, it's, it's you know, got a little plastic dangly bit, so that's gonna be something to watch out for. That's gonna break. But other than that, I mean, it's sure it's got a wide bezel. That's kind of what you expect with something like this. And like I said, it's, it's, it's cheap plastic, but uh, overall, I think this is comparable to what, to the Fire 7. So if you're looking for an inexpensive tablet and you don't want to be locked into the Amazon App Store and you want something that you don't have to reload the OS and do all this funky stuff to get Android apps installed on it that aren't in the Amazon Store, I think this is the way to go. It's a platform agnostic, so you can run your Netflix and your YouTube and all those great things on here without too much of a hassle. So I'm John, your Gen X grandpa. This has been the On 7 inch tablet, Android tablet. And I'll have some more videos for you later showing you how to set it up as well as some other technical things. All right, talk to you next time. Bye.